Hello everyone, my name is Adredden and today we are going to talk about mini bikes. We are going to see how to drive them and how to craft them. Okay, so to interact with your mini bike, you press and hold E and you can access its storage, its modifiers. There aren't many modifiers for the game right now. So they do use gas and you can repair them with the repair kit. Just grab my bike here, just take a quick look at the stats here. So we have durability 15 and 10 meters per second not that noisy and but it doesn't use any gas whereas this guy here is 10 meters per second has twice the durability and you may ask well why or you both you know why use it if you have you know actually have to use gas it's not any faster and it's only a little bit more durable well the reason is because when you have the storage on a mini bike it's a little bit nicer than just having one row on a normal bike and so I don't know, I would generally just put your repair kits in there because that's what you're going to need. If something pro happens problematically, you can put your gas in there and uh, anything else you loot. Other things we see is you can lock it so that nobody else can use it. But if you lock it, you can also enter in a pin so that people can use it if they wish. Passcode changed. Unlock it. I know it's not a big deal. You can take that thing into your inventory if it doesn't have anything in its inventory here, so da da. Take. Then we plop it back down. Don't ride it. Hold the E key. It's got a little horn. And we're just, we're just gonna put these back in here. And if it's damaged, let's go damage it. Let's uh, find something to run into. There's some cinder blocks. Those are usually pretty good for it. You. There's a little bit of damage. So it's a bit damaged, we uh, go into our storage, grab a repair kit out. Obviously wait till the bike is way more damaged than this to repair it, but this is their little repair icon. You can also do it from in here, so there you go. I'm not going to do it right, well sure. Bam, done, repaired. That's 100% again. And it uses fuel, pretty, yeah, I don't know, I guess, so it's not bad. And yeah, so to drive the thing, it's got the directional steer as default. And then if you click on your mouse once, um, you can rotate around it to look at stuff, but then you have to use your D and A key to turn, which can be okay. It's a little bit weird if you're trying to drive like this and you're trying to figure out where to drive. If you need gas, you can use your wrench on a car. This is the super wrench, so this car is just going to disappear and not give me any gas. Sometimes they give you gas, sometimes they don't. I guess it depends on each particular level of the vehicle itself. So if you were to break this one down with a normal wrench, it would go down to like that level, then this level, and each one gives you slightly different things. So this is the one of the better ones, I think. There we go. Anyhow, you can get gas like that. There's also some big POIs that have gas in them and other ones that have little amounts of gas around them. Plus gas stations. About the only other control is when you're driving these things, you can press the C key and that will make it do like a little bit of a jump. If you press it more than once, it tilts the bike up a little bit each time you're pressing it. But depending on what terrain you're on, um, it can affect that. So sometimes you'll lurch forward if you're on the wrong kind of thing. If you press the shift key, it'll go a little bit faster. Uh, not a whole lot, but a bit, which is great for trying to get to places that are a lot farther away. So still early in the game, you probably have a bike. Uh, I have a bike tutorial, and so we'll just get off there. I'm just going to use the super wrench because it's, well, so much quicker. Well, actually, maybe not. Let's use the normal wrench. We're just going to wrench this apart and see what we can find. I think we're going to need to actually go specifically. No, never mind. They do have normal electrical parts. So yeah, just go around with your normal little bike that you've already built, most likely. I mean, you can skip the bike, but... Odds are pretty good that it's going to be one of the first things you get in the game. And uh, just kind of go around and look for old cars, because honestly, this is one of the best ways to get most of the things you need. Because we'll get engines, mechanical and electrical parts, springs. But the only thing that's kind of more rare from these are the um, is leather. There's a headlight, and we do need the headlight. We'll probably go into one of these buildings. Oh, okay, perfect. That was great. So a bottle of acid. We do need two of these, one for each wheel. 
So that's good stuff. That's great that we got that. So we're just gonna keep breaking it down. Gets us also the plastics we need. Pretty much this is like the best way to do this. Of course, other little things to get. Well, if we go in here, pretty late in the day. I'm just gonna pause the zombies just to show you. Breaking down sinks for pipes. We're not gonna do very much, that kind of stuff. Um, one of the things you're probably gonna wanna look for, do this, do this, plastics. Good to know. Hey guys, what's up? Electrical parts can also be gotten from things like microwaves, lights, ovens. What we want is see if they have like a leather chair. Ah, perfect. To find some of the extra leather, you're gonna want to find some of these old leather couches and just break them down. Don't forget to look into car places because oftentimes when you go inside them, they will have boxes that have car parts in them. And the car parts can give you things for your bike, like wheel. Do a little bit of hunting, that way you can get some bones, which can turn into glue, and then turn the glue into duct tape. You also get a little bit of extra food this way. Another good way to get bones is to just get these animal remains here. We have more than enough than we need now. Oftentimes, talking to the trader is a good place to get various parts for your bike. We can get repair kits here, which means we can repair them. Some of the coal you're going to need, you can go into the burnt biome and chop down some burnt trees. That'll get you some of the coal. You can also destroy some of these embers. That will get you coal. And the other thing you can do to find coal is to find these coal nodes and just smash them. And that will get you a bunch of coal too. All right, time to head back. If you really need gas, this is probably one of the best options you have. You just have to go into this little door there and there's a bunch of gasoline in here. Boop, like that. All right, so if we want to build the actual mini bike, we're going to need to get the schematics to build it. So here we go. We've got a couple here. We're going to take one and one. Your other option is to go over and buy Grease Monkey over here. And by doing it, you can also make them 33% cheaper. But what I'm going to do is do a more general build because not everybody is going to spec into intelligence. And there's a good chance we can find these. To get these, I would recommend either searching up like a bookstore so you can get, you know, just a whole bunch of schematics or go to something that has car parts in it. This particular building is an automotive place, so it has car parts in it, as well as gas stations like passing gas have car parts as well. So you could find them in there. Okay, so next we read these. Now I'm gonna have to make a few things because I don't have any duct tape. If you want to make some duct tape because you haven't found any, just use seven bones, and one murky water and then you can end up making some and then you just take your glue and you have some cloth fragments and you have to exit this recipes duct tape craft so i'm just going to craft as many as i need okay so as you can see looking through here by taking apart all the cars we have uh da -da 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 -da, well more of everything that we actually need so we have the mechanical parts we have the springs the headlight electrical parts in the short iron pipe for the handlebar this one requires forged iron that's one that I haven't done I just did the duct tape and the leather you can get from shooting animals or from cars and electrical parts and then for the mini bike itself we just have all those parts already downstairs but we're gonna make them anew so if you're new to the game and you know you're just kind of learning things as you're going here's how you make iron there's a whole tutorial I did on the forge just for you. So I'm just gonna craft up 15 of them. Everything's already been pre-melted a long time ago and I even actually just made a bunch. So just gonna grab a 15 because that's what we need. Okay, so as you can see, these all have to be done on the workbench. So let's go over to the workbench and make this happen. With all of our materials on us, we just hit craft, mini bike. We have all of our stuff on us craft and then those will craft up so if you hadn't found wheels what you need to do is you need to get scrap polymers some acid probably from a sink these are, can be from tires from your forge you'd grab some more forged iron cars have oil also garbages and that's where the coal comes into play but then uh, you'd hit 
craft. I probably only have enough to do one. Yeah, because of the oil. Yeah, I'll just craft one just because. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for all this stuff to craft up and uh, grab the other tire from the box. All right, so once we have all those things, I gathered up the battery and the motor from the other box as well. And we are now able to just do mini bike and craft. That's gonna take a minute. And we have ourselves a mini bike. Okay, so now that thing's all done, um, <laughs> we just have to plop it down on the ground. Um, another thing to note, oh, perfect timing. Open the door. Is we can also use the F key to turn on its headlight. See? So, ah, but as you can see right now, it just wheels around really slow. I guess this is sort of like the equivalent of you um, pushing it without any kind of, um, I don't know. Just with your feet, I guess. You had like a, you know, a bike that you've been... If you've ever had a motorcycle and you pushed it with your feet, you know that doesn't go very fast, right? Let's get some gas. I think I actually have some on me. So we just go over. You can hit refuel right there. Okay. That's that. You are off and away. I don't think you can flip these things backwards. So you can just keep doing like a weird wheelie until you kind of flip forward on something. All right, guys. If you enjoyed that tutorial, hit that like button and share with some friends. If you are new to the channel and want to learn more about 7 Days to Die, hit the subscribe button and thank you for ringing the bell. And I'll help you stay informed of any new videos I'm coming out with. If you have any ideas of videos you want to see, let me know down in the comments and I can try to make that happen. Okay guys, I will see you in another video. Bye bye.